Did you know a single atom can be in two places at once? The equivalent of you being in New York and London at the same time. The reason for this is because atoms can behave like waves, rather like kind of ripples on the surface of a pond. And there's one property of waves which has kind of mundane consequences in the everyday world, but completely earth-shattering consequences for the waves which are associated with atoms. Imagine you're at the sea on a stormy day and there are large rolling waves coming in. Imagine the next day the storm's gone and it's calm, but the wind is kind of ruffling the surface of the sea. So you've got tiny little ripples. Well, as everybody knows, on the stormy day you could have had big rolling waves with little tiny ripply waves from the, from the wind superimposed. And this is a general characteristic of waves of all kinds. If any two waves can exist, a combination of those waves can exist. But now imagine that there is a quantum wave associated with an atom which is very highly peaked on this side of the room. So there's a very high chance of finding the atom over here. Now imagine another quantum wave which is highly peaked on this side of the room. So there's a very high chance of finding the atom here. Now remember, if any two waves can exist, a combination can exist. But a combination of these two quantum waves is a way, is, it corresponds to an atom which is very likely to be found on this side of the room and very likely to be found on this side of the room. So it's in two places at once. So how can a single atom be in two places at once, or many places at once? Well, according to a popular idea called the many worlds, the atom is in many places at once, but in separate realities, in separate parallel universes. And in this idea, there are an infinite number of realities stacked like the pages of a never-ending book. For instance, there's a reality where the Germans won the Second World War. There's a reality where you're not listening to this uh, interview. There's a reality where the dinosaurs were not wiped out by an asteroid 65 million years ago, but went on to invent the motor car. Now, if you think this is completely fanciful, it turns out that there is a technological device in the world today which people are rushing to, to racing to actually build, uh, which forces on us uh, this idea of many worlds. The device is called the quantum computer. And what the quantum computer does is it exploits the ability of atoms to do many things at once, to do many calculations at once. Now, currently, the most complicated quantum computers are very, very primitive, and they can't do more than a thousand calculations simultaneously. But, and this is the point, it's possible to imagine building a quantum computer within the next 20 or 30 years, which can do more calculations simultaneously than there are atoms in the universe. Then you have to ask yourself the question, where is the quantum computer doing its calculations? Where is it finding the resources to actually do those calculations? Now, according to people who believe in the many worlds, what the quantum computer do, is doing is it's, is it's actually exploiting copies of itself in parallel realities. If this is true, then the quantum computer is something entirely new under the sun. It's the first device invented by human beings to exploit the power of multiple realities.